Christ. Amen. Please be seated. I would like to extend a happy Mother's Day to all the mothers and the sisters. It's a very wonderful thing that we can have the Feast of Our Lady of Fatima, Mother's Day, and Sunday within the octave of the Ascension. These are all very important things. We have our, we venerate our, our mothers as, you know, their, their position is a very important role in the family, as we know. As the society today has, has tried to turn that upside down, as it does with all things. I would just like to remind all the children, though, as we read today, charity covereth a multitude of sins, so be charitable to your mothers, especially on this day. And that's which I, what I wish to speak about in my sermon. Charity covereth a multitude of sins. We have many sins to be covered up, I know. But beloved souls of Christ, this is our faith summed up. Love. Love God with your whole heart, soul, and mind. And love your neighbor as yourself. It's important also to remember the last part. Love yourself. We always hear of love of self as something bad, something to fight against. Inordinate love of self, yes. But we need to seek our greatest good and that of our neighbor to glorify God for this, this creation is all his. It's his work. And he was willing to suffer and die to purchase it back from sin. And so should we go to great lengths to obtain our own salvation and that of our neighbor's. And by this they will know that you are his if you have love for one another. And so this love is all for God, our greatest good. To prove that we are willing to go to great lengths for him and for his. To obtain his will, the salvation of all mankind. Anything you have done to the least of my brethren, to the least of the brethren, you have done to me. But if you love me, keep my commandments. Prove it. Be slow to anger and slow to speak, as we heard just two weeks ago. Practice patience with your fellow Catholics, that our Lord may be patient with us. Prove your love, and Christ will send the paraclete, the spirit of truth. What have we been seeking in our life but truth? Every man yearns for it. We desire it. We need it. Christ is this truth. And we need to live so that all can partake in the truth. Give them an example of a higher way of life, a higher cause. We live this way because we want to go to heaven. We want to do God's will. We want to be part of his truth. And this is what the devil tries to make the world forget, that there is a battle for all of our souls. And he's trying to get them. And so we need the truth to help us through this fight. We need the source of grace. As our Lord said, I am the true vine, the true source of grace, the true source of life, his life. 
And he also said, without me, you can do nothing. And so we need to live in union with him. And so now we have a novena to the Holy Ghost, knowing we need the strength of his grace. The Holy Ghost gives us inspiration to these graces and helps us to obtain them. Not just sacramental grace, all the graces of every day, the graces of the current moment. But he will only come to us if we are united with Christ, the true vine. We are only united if we prove our love for him. Keep the commandments. This greatest love covers a multitude. And again, we have our daily opportunities for this. Still being kind to someone, even though they have slighted you though they have slandered you. Don't give yourself into passing judgment. And I always like to think about God is the perfect judge because he knows all things. He knows everything perfectly, every circumstance of every person, what they're going through. But if someone knows less, how can he judge? Only imperfectly. Giving someone the benefit of the doubt can take heroic efforts sometimes. But hasn't our Lord done more with us? He can judge perfectly. He knows exactly what we're going through. He knows exactly how hard we're trying. And he has provided for us, as he said he would. I will not leave you orphans. So he provided his church. And so he sends us the Holy Ghost, the paraclete. Let us never forget that when the apostles were preparing to receive the Holy Ghost into their hearts, they made, remained in the upper room with Our Lady. How appropriate for us, again, that May 13th comes at this time of year. So close to Pentecost. The two are so important for us today as Catholics. For we need God's grace of perseverance. Especially this day and age when so many are led astray. So many don't see the truth. Don't seek the truth. It may take another hundred years for the Fatima message to be completed, for Russia to be converted. If it only takes one more year, we need to keep living that message. Cease offending God, who is already so much offended. Keep praying the rosary for poor sinners. Living our every day is an example. So let us pray with Our Lady to have a good preparation to receive the Holy Ghost, that we may live our lives as true Catholics, showing what is a true Catholic, that you have love for one another. For charity covereth a multitude of sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.